Hi, welcome to the first chapter of Illustrator from the beginning. And here you can just see the templates, different templates like you know, letter, postbox, postcard, sorry, and so common uh, template. Like these are the sizes, different uh, document sizes. For HD, it is. 1920 into 1080 and here you have an option of clicking more when you click on more you can just see the saved items not all things you have saved it will be there and this is for the mobile presets different type of mobile presets are there and this is for web application so web you want to have banners or map on all these stuff are there for print and from film and uh, video art and illustration so these are the presets which is been given along with the software now on right hand side you can just see the preset details here you can just see the unit it's in point so when you click on this you can just see pixels points because inches, feet, feet and inches, yard, millimeter, centimeter and meter. So in your case, suppose you want to do something for a television or some multimedia presentation. As I told you, like you want to do something, there are two types of displaying your products. One is on screen or on a physical paper. So if you want to do it on screen, then please use pixels and you can use the presets available here for tabloid and all these stuff. Suppose you are going for printing. In printing, if you are using a large format, a bigger size, you can use an inches feet. And if you are working on very small, like you know, on a, like a package design, other things and all. Then you can use millimeters or centimeters. Centimeter millimeter will be more accurate. Centimeter will be like you know a four sheet and other things and then you can just do. It. Meters is ruled out. Meters no one is using in chapter otherwise in extraordinary cases will be using this. So here in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click on the print. And on the print, I'm going to click on the A4 size. A4 is the standard size which you have and next is the bleed bleed let it be default by zero and if you want a bleed I'll explain to you when I open the document what is a bleed so here it is zero points I'm going to change this to millimeter so when I change to millimeter all this unit will change now next is the color mode when you go and click on this color mode, you have RGB and CMYK. Here, as usual, you are working on uh, television or uh, a movie or anything when you need to use RGB. And if you are working on something like printing and other things, then you have to click on CMYK. Okay. So, when you click on print, it is showing the warning. Can you see here? When you click on this, it is showing the warning because you are in print. But when I go and click on the film and video, you can just see this is gone. So when you click on CMYK, it shows a triangle saying that this is not applicable. So this is very important. Next you can just see here is a screen. When you click on this, you can just see the high, the DPI, you call it as DPI, dots per inch or pixels per inch. Higher the DPI, higher the DPI, more the quality of the picture is big. So, for printing purpose, you need to use 300 DPI, PPI. And for normally, when you just print in your house, it can be 150. And for web application, it should be 72. Very less than you can use 36 PPI, which is not of much use, but they have given the option. You can select any of this. 
the preview mode you can just see pixel mode output or default let it be in default okay so these are the when you open you can just see all this information is given and you have to give all the inputs to the system to the software so that it can process and it can work so click on create when you click on create automatically you can just see what I've done is I've just clicked on video okay so when you click on video you can just see this is basically for television screen and uh, you can just see these two lines are there which you call it as a safe frame what all information you have text or any details it has to be inside this will be inside this and whatever background is there it can extend up to this so all the background information which is visible on the television screen will be this so this is basically called the safe frame now when you just go and click on a new document like you know see now this is on a video okay so CMYK is there it has to be in RGB mode okay so you have to click on RGB mode I'm going to go and click on print let it be in print so I'll just open it now this is going to come as a white background and I also forgot to tell you one more thing is like you know here the orientation is there that is you have basically have portrait and landscape okay so portrait and landscape is ultra of this okay this one will go up and this one will come down number of artboards how many artboards you want that is you want to work on say you want to create a logo the first page the second page you need to have the reduction of the logo and the third page you have visiting card which is the size is less 5.5 by 9 and uh, 21 by 29.7 is for the letterhead and envelope you have the size different sizes as envelope 9 you're going to use so here you can just have one two three or four four art boards you can have just i want to show you how it is so click on create so when you click on create you can just see four art board so that is it all about opening a document and here you can just see the tab how many documents you're opening the tab will be your available now we are going to see the user interface of this illustrator now the first thing what you have to do is if anything is missing or something is that you want to make all this to the factory setting very important is go to windows go to workspace and here you have an option of different type of I mean different themes like you know for if you are working mostly on paintings you can click on painting if you want for layout you can click on layout and if you want for printing and proofing tracing typography and other things all these are different presets and here you can click on new workspace suppose you want to customize all these things you can click on new workspace manager workspace okay so now click on new workspace we will ask you for a name you can put a name and you can save the workspace for your future which you will be seeing one by one because in these chapters the coming chapters we are going to see in detail in detail we are going to see each and every menu okay. so here uh, we are going to type i am going to type drc okay so click on okay now again go to windows again go to workspace you can just see here this is a workspace what i have now i want to reset reset this now my workspace is named as here so i'm going to reset it so all the things got resetted so i can just move it keep it over here color guide keep it over here so all these things are see here like this like tabs you get okay now as you know this here you have the toolbar this is the toolbar and which you have seen in the previous chapter i explained to you about the, all the tools and i can just keep the cursor over here and i can just move it and keep it here like this at my convenient place wherever i want i can just move and keep it over here now on the top you can just see 
the property bar. This is the property bar. Okay, you can just see the property bar over here, and here you can just see the menus, different menus on the top. Effect windows, and here under the windows, you can just see so many options. So suppose you want to know about the colors, you can click on colors. Color will get highlighted. If you want, I don't want color, I want color guide, click on color guide, color guide will get highlighted. So these are called the panels. Okay, these are panels. And this panel, you can just select whichever colors you want. On the top, for example, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use rectangle. So before that, I'll just click on this. Okay. And I'll just go to the bottom. I'll just go here. I'll just click and click on four. I'll click on one. When I click on one, the first artwork, artboard will be available. I can just move it. The second artboard, third artboard, and fourth artboard. Okay. So you can also customize this artboard, which I'll show you one by one. So this is the artboard you have. And here, we can just see all field color stroke color, fill and stroke color, stroke width, opacity, appearance, okay, all these things. Now, just move it over here like this and go to view and click on fit artboard in the window. Under the view, you have fit artboard in the window, okay. So now, all of you know now, here you have two colors. One is the fill color. Another one is the outline color. Now let us see one by one. I'll just click on this. And I'm going to use this tool here in the property bar. You can just, I'm going to select this and like this, this. And here, you can just see two. I'll just keep it over here. I'll show it to you. You have two boxes. These two boxes. One is a fill color, another one is a outline color. That's a stroke. Then so double click on this, you get a swatch over here, which I showed you in the color theory. So here you have hue, this is a hue. Then you have the shades and the brightness over here. It is represented by numeric value here. Okay, this is a numeric value. CMYK percentage. RGB percentage and HSB percentage. So hue, saturation and brightness. And this is represented by, see, suppose I click on this. This is represented by a number. So this number represents this particular color. And here you have only web colors. When you are working something for web, as I told you, web is restricted to 216 colors. Whereas here we have 256 colors, you can just see the bands which appears when you click on only web colors. But here in 256 colors, we have 16 million colors totally. Now the same thing, here in the stroke, I have black stroke. Okay. And I can just increase the stroke size. This is the property bar. So the property bar shows exactly what is the width and what is the height of it. And here you can just see there is a small constraint width and height proportion. So if I enable this and this is in points. Okay, now when I open a new document, I did not change the unit. So now if you want to change the unit, now you want to know it in centimeters how much centimeter it is then what it was go to edit go to preference please make a note of it or I download this video and see it preference and under the preference you can just see the units okay can you see the units yeah click on the unit and here under the unit this is very important 
this unit what you do is you just change that to from points to say let us have it as centimeters that's the even and the stroke if you want you can have it in millimeters type let it be in points and click on ok now you can just see the unit this one this rectangle is 9.3 centimeters by 7.8 centimeters now let me keep this as 10 okay i'll keep it as 10 keeping this constraint okay when i keep it on 10 automatically this goes to 8.3 maintaining the proportion okay i don't want the proportion i'll just cut the proportion and i want it by 10 by 10 then you need to cut the proportion and make it 10 by 10 now this is going to be the exact square when you click on this ellipse see i am creating an ellipse when i create this you feel as if it is a circle but actually when you speak it is not a circle because can you see a circle will have equal width and equal height okay but that is not the case here so what you have to do is let this be off and change this to say 5 and 5 this is a perfect circle and this is a perfect square so always try to use the numeric value numeric value of your objects that's very very important now when you just click on this and here in the bottom you can just see there is an option three of three boxes are there small boxes the first box represents the solid color second box represents the gradient okay this represents the gradient this is gradient is for the outline for outline we have a gradient let me increase it you can just see the outline how the gradient is no i don't want i just want a solid one and for inside i click on this inside i want a different color so i just click on this i just move it and click on which color i want okay i just want a gradient then i can click on gradient here one important thing i it's so easy that this ma ma panel central you can just move it and keep it here now you here you can just see little layer black and white it's a gray scale from white to black but i want some color here so if i want some color here what should i do i should go here all the panels will have these lines these lines like this here this also will have a line here this also will have a line here so when you click on this it will show show options you click on show options it will expand remember this the entire photo photoshop or illustrator or indesign all the panels are maintained in this manner okay so click on this hide option is there you can hide okay now i want color here what to do so i just click on this double click on it you get this box this box you get okay now what i do is i just go click over here and change that to rgb or cmyk or hsp hsb means hue saturation and brightness and you have web safe color i click on rgb so i got rgb here now I'm going, i've selected this box okay this one this i'm going to give green back okay i want to add a point here so, so double click I'll give blue here. Double click. I'll give purple here. Now I can just move it like this. I can just move it here, here, like this. Okay. So this is how you just move. And here you can just see the location. 50, 50 will be the center of this slider. Okay. So you can have like this and under the gradient you have three types one is linear type another one is radial type 
what all colors you have suppose you don't want this you can just move it you can just move it and you can adjust it if you want to add you can double click on it and you can add okay yeah you can add move it over here just like this you can delete it if you want you can add it here you can delete it okay so radial and here free transform so here i'll keep like this i can adjust the gradient wherever i want see can adjust it okay so that is it for uh, this chapter part 1 we will uh, meet in the next chapter as soon as possible thank you